The following video will demonstrate how to import contours into an En-ROADS DTM file from a shape file. To begin, we'll open a new DGN file from Seed by going to File, New. We'll give it a name. Then we'll browse to select our Seed file. It's very important here that we choose a 3D Seed file. Select Open and Save. Next, we want to activate Map by going to Applications, Map, Activate Map. The next step is to import the shapefile. To do so, we'll go to File, Import, GIS Data Types. Click on the Imports tab. Right-click on the Imports folder and select New Import. Next, we want to right-click on Import 1 and select Add File. <coughs> we want to browse to our shapefile and select Open. If we highlight the file here, you can see that we do have a feature parameter called Elevation. We want to select this Elevation parameter. From here, we can go ahead and right-click and select Import, which will import the shapefile into our DGN. Once the import is complete, we can close the Map Interoperability dialog. and fit the view. And you can see here that our contours are displayed. If you snap to the contours, you can see that they do have corresponding elevations. In this case it's 300. Snapping to this one we'll see that it's 302. Next we simply need to import these contours into En-ROADS. To do so, we'll begin by drawing a fence around all the contours. From within the En-ROADS Explorer, we'll go to File, Import, Surface. <coughs> we'll give this surface a name. We want to load from a fence. We will use the element Elevations and we'll give it a seed name of Contours and also select an appropriate feature style. Here we want to make sure that we change the point type to contour and click apply. Once the import is complete, we'll click close. And in order to display the contours, let's go ahead and just open a new seed file. Again, we want to make sure that we're in a 3D file. You can see here that our surface existing all the contour features have been imported. Next we want to triangulate these features by going to Surface, Triangulate Surface. Since our contours are at two foot intervals, we want to add a maximum length here to keep from having long skinny uh, triangles that are, are actually incorrect. So we'll set a length here of five feet and click Apply. We now have a triangulated inroad surface that's comprised of the contours that we imported from the shapefile. As a final step, we can view those contours by going to Surface, View Surface, Contours, and clicking Apply.
can now close the View Contours dialog box. I'll collapse this and we can fit the view. And these are your contours that have been imported by En-ROADS.